Welcome back to the class. Okay, today what we're going to cover will be, I will actually start covering the features on the top down here. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is the array tools down here. This array tools, what does it mean? The array tools, um, the whole meaning about this is you can be able to do multiple sets one go compares to if you are trying to do let's say for example okay let's make example down here so i will drag a jpeg file a qr a jpeg files into my canvas okay so uh, the size is 100 by almost 100 so maybe i would want to use 60 So this is the QR um, code um, where it's, it basically is going to be engraved, right? And the thing is, I would like to cut it out as well. So maybe for a restaurant. So what normally they do is for a certain menu that I have done before, uh, they are actually... We are actually the whole idea is we are required to be able to cut multiples of, for example, a QR like that. So right now I'm going to create a frame so that I can be able to cut and engrave. Right. So I will move into the insert rectangle because this is a true square. I will hold down my shift key. I will hold down my shift key and I'll basically this one. Okay, so you can be able to si see the size, the square is 60.9 by 60.9. Okay, so this is a true square. Okay, I will blow this up. Easier for us to take a look. Yeah. So this, if we are happy with this, that means uh, we're going to cut this frame out and we're going to engrave. So the next thing that I'm going to do will be, I will highlight the square with a cut tab. Okay, so this is a cut tab. And right now I'm going to maybe make a couple of it. So let's say for example, there is a requirement to make 15 out of this QR. So what are we supposed to do? We are not going to do one by one or we, we are not going to copy paste, copy paste. Okay, we can be able to do, let's say for example, I can copy and I can paste, but that requires a lot of work and I have to be able to arrange them. So I will show you one. Uh, this is the... I cut generation where I have uh, required to be able to copy and paste, copy and paste. All right. So this is that means I select the whole thing, I copy and I paste. So I have to do repeated times over this process. So with this um, array tools, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, for example, two of this. Right, and I hit the array tools. Right, there is a grid array and circular array. So I will go into the grid array. So once I hit the grid array, you can be able to notice that the x axis actually two that means two sets of this, and y axis is two sets as well. So they are right now, they are false. Okay. There are eight of it. Okay, so okay, so there are eight. The x-axis spacing. So the x-axis spacing by default is one mm. Okay, so you can be able to notice that there is a little gap down here, and the y-axis as well one mm. There is a tiny gap down here. So they are too tiny. Maybe what we can do is I'm going to increase the spacing or for example and the y-axis or as well 
So right now you can see there are eight sets of it. Okay, I can be able to increase the X axis. I hit another one, three. So you can see once I hit the X axis, it basically from one sets, it became three and the Y axis, it basically remains. So if you want to actually uh, do more, you can actually hit on to the Y axis. I can go for four, for example. Okay. So, and I hit OK. So right now you can be able to see I have a couple of them. Okay. So there are a couple of them. So this is what it means by grid array. So that means it's very in a very quick and easy way we can be able to multiply um, the, the volume of the, the things that we wanted to do. So this is the meaning of grid array. Okay, so there you notice there is another called a circular array. So what does it mean, the circular array? So I will undo this and I'll show it to you. Okay. So I select these sets again and I go into the grid array. So if I go into the grid array, immediately you can be able to see there are eight copies of them. And uh, basically these are the X and Y axis. So they are all in, you can be able to see there's checked out uh, rotated object copies. So they are all being uh, rotated in a circular uh, arrangement. Okay, so if you want to actually increase the the copies, I can be able to increase the copies to nine. So you can see there are additional now. Or uh, the the steps will be let's say for example I increase the steps, you can see there are a little very very small adjustment onto the original um position of my QR down here. So I'm going to, let's say for example, if I uncheck this, it basically, all of them are in stacks. Okay, so there are nine sets of it and there are stacks underneath each other. Okay, so this is what it mean by circular array and I, frankly, um, for me personally, I don't use it a lot. I only use the uh, grid array very often. So, okay, come back to this circular array. You can be able to see, I, I just drag it out and you can be able to see they are all in, you can see all the positions are basically they're arranged in a circle. Okay, so I hope uh, you understand the meaning of grid array and you find some useful uh, work while using this grid array, right? So, bye.